when it comes to cars, I feel like I'm knowledgeable about them, but you don't need to be anywhere deep into car culture to see how ass Instagram car memes are. Sadly, I made the mistake of liking two Toyota Supra videos and then Instagram flooded my feed with some of the worst garbage related to cars ever. I know that app is not known for having like Dave Chappelle level of comedy, but these fucking posts are scraping the bottom of the barrel. I know everyone and their mother says that about all forms of comedy on Instagram, but genuinely, I believe it can't get worse than this. They all consist of the same thing. JDM cars are the best. Loki, I won't disagree with that. People who drive automatics are an abomination to car culture and women are bad. Unfortunately, I have some of them saved and I just want to share them with you because of how shit they are. We're gonna start off with a fucking bang right here. Hey son, you not my dad. A lot of things are wrong with this image, but a little bit of context. Toyota made a car in the 90s called the Supra. A lot of people upgraded it and, you know, tuning culture became a thing. Recently, Toyota released a new Supra, the 2020 Supra, like they announced it forever ago. And people were complaining that it was not the same thing as the old Supra to have the 2JZ turbo engine. People were calling it a BMW Z4 because it was co-produced by BMW. Like for probably the first month after the announcement, everyone was shitting on the Supra memes or photos of like the, the new Supra in front of a BMW dealership. It was like funny for like 20 minutes and then it just got really stupid at the end of it. And it all blew over really quickly. But there are still people that are triggered that it's not the same thing as a 20 year old car. This is not that bad compared to some other ones. Brakes? You mean the coward pedal? What the fuck? Brakes? You mean hitting a tree and fucking dying? I don't get this meme format at all, and I don't get why they have like Dutch Vanderlyn from Red Dead Redemption 2 on it, but this is fucking stupid. If you don't break, you're gonna die. And oh, by the way, death is a big theme in most of these fucking posts. Just look. When I need to clear my mind without a bottle, I use my throttle. This Dr. Seuss ass sounding meme because nothing is cooler than drinking than ripping it down I-95 and racking up multiple public endangerment charges. Obviously, drinking and driving is one of the worst things you can ever do, but recklessly driving to help clear your fucking mind is on the same level of stupidity and total disregard for human life. I know I'm digging too deep into this meme like it's something serious, but the first comment on it is, I beat my wife. <laughs> By the way, here's another meme talking about how epic vehicular man slaughter is someone loves you drive with care i'm single no one loves me this one's so stupid i couldn't think of anything funny to say but the comments themselves are just a whole different story first why he driving an auto the fuck you automatic what's beautiful about this one is the owner of the page responded can you even drive lol yeah why i thought you were a 14 year old on the internet like me <laughs> That basically explains to you the type of people that make these memes and laugh at it. I'm not saying it's bad if you do, I'm just saying that it's something that I would have found funny in probably 2010, but like the format and the type of jokes just don't work anymore. When you're at the family gathering and no one wants to talk about race cars, only 12 year olds relate to this because when I'm at a family gathering, I don't be bugging my whole family about race cars, and no one above the age of 13 does it either because people are just gonna find that really annoying bugging everybody about one topic. Especially at a place so random like a family gathering. This one's as bad as the last one. When you're at a party and no one there is into cars, there seems to be no signs of intelligent life anywhere. Because if you're not into cars, you're a fucking retard. Not everything has to revolve around planes, trains, and automobiles. If you're at a party and no one's into cars, then you're just at the wrong party. I'm taking this one way too seriously again because the person who made this never been to a party besides middle school homecoming, but I'll just leave this one here. Civic owners are the type of people to take a shit in colored weed reduction. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. I don't get why everybody in the community shits on civics, no pun intended, but do people just not find this right here funny? Car show, when, where, what time, I'm going. Holy shit, man, yeah, cars, I'm also addicted to car shows, and yeah, very funny right here. Woohoo! I don't think it can get any more unfunnier than this, because this right here is competing with the rest of them for the worst meme ever created. Dads on Facebook probably repost this all the time because they think this shit's the funniest thing ever. People complain about street racing. Street racers build drag strips. People build houses close to drag strip. People complain about noise. Drag strip clothes. People 
complaining about street racing. Isn't street racing and drag racing both separate things? And also, one of these street racers build drag strip close to houses? Or people build houses far away from a drag strip? I don't know. But what I do know is that the comments are also pretty fucking stupid. That's because the world is FULL OF CUNTS! I don't understand what people have with street racing. What is wrong? The fact that you're driving at fast speed in and out of traffic and other people don't have control of what you do and you don't have control of what other people do while on the road. But also, I don't want to make it sound like I'm talking down on street racing because I'd be a hypocrite to do that, even though I've never done it, but I've never stopped anyone from doing it and I've sort of been to events. People who do it know it's dangerous. They still do it. And no one who does it has the intention to kill somebody. It's still a big risk people take. And if someone fucks up and goes into your lane and you crash into them at 80 miles an hour, that's what's wrong. It's like drinking. Yeah, I know I have a drinking problem, but I'm not gonna stop. That's such a bad comparison. My god. You get the point. I need this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then he just couldn't think of anything to put for bottom text So they just put okay the car is also what every fifth grader had as their wallpaper And I know that I've been making the same like 12 year old joke on this video But you don't need to explain what's a bad meme, you know Paul Walker dies every car guy <laughs> Okay, well, it's so non-specific. It's just Paul Walker dies. It's like those memes where it's like nobody and it <laughs> I don't think it's only car guys that even cried over Paul Walker. Everyone did. The dude was an amazing actor, but he just didn't fucking die like that. My reaction when I see a girl driving a Subaru. What's the reaction? I see women driving Subaru all the time. And yes, I know the meme is probably talking about a WRX or something. Doesn't mean that they shouldn't drive it because they're just a girl. Hell, it's a good thing if girls are into cars as well, because that'll show that you have a common interest if you ever meet one. What is so fascinating about cars i don't know but why you woman always run to the guy with ferrari first off the grammar on this is really off and it really contradicts itself right here because she's asking what's so fascinating about cars and then you ask back it's really stupid and also you're telling me you wouldn't run to anyone who has a ferrari it's a cool ass car obviously whoever owns one is a really interesting person and is always going to be the center of attention to other people i like automatic what's not automatic it means he's scared of shifting gears no it does not Ooh, there pedal stop it patrick you're scaring him i don't think it's that people are afraid to drive manual i just think some people just can't learn it because there's no one to teach them and or they have an automatic car look i love manual transmission it gets you closer to the car if you're on open roads in traffic, you would want to kill yourself if you if you drive manual because you have to be constantly shifting, up shifting, down shifting. It's a pain in the fucking ass. That's why most people and people that live in cities prefer automatic. Also, the sad truth is there's a lot of cars these days, especially sport cars that are only an automatic because the cars will shift way faster than a human. I know standard transmission is not only about speed and it's about like how attached you are to the car because it feels like you're part, more part of the car. Driving manual doesn't make you cooler or harder to any other people and, and that's because nobody really gives two shits about it. VTech just kicked in. Bro, we're already home! Oh my god. As I said about shitting on a Civic, obviously these cars will beat a fucking Civic. It's a Supra and it's a Skyline. None of them compared to a honda civic both these cars will obviously always be tuned better than a civic this is the second worst meme out of all of them and i hate every single one you finally hit a crap <laughs> what the fuck yeah this is hella relatable oh my god i relate to this a lot no i know it's a mustang joke it's probably ironic as well i just felt like i had to include this in here we started with a bang and now we're gonna end with a fucking bang i'm a simple man i see super i press like but she can press like on on this video now nah, i'm kidding at least i got this off my chest these car memes are the worst ever they're worse than those stupid facebook mom memes you see of the little minions oh because that had that's an audience for like a different generation this stuff i guess people try to make funny but it just ends up being one of the most cringiest things you'll ever look at and i looked and done a lot of cringy stuff which i wish never happened but i'm happy i never found this funny in my life Subscribe and like. I hate sounding like a Fortnite YouTuber, but peace out.